Hey guys, I wanted to just quickly go over NPM, which is basically the package manager for Node. Uh, it stands for Node Package Modules, or sometimes Node Package Manager. And the npmjs.org, uh, that's the official website, and you can find basically all the modules that are available. Uh, you can see we have the recently updated modules, the most depended upon, which are basically the most popular. Uh, you see Express, which is the MVC framework that we'll be using. Uh, the underscore templating system so there's just a bunch um, that you can go through so I would, would definitely suggest coming to the website and looking around um, if you click on API this is basically the documentation for all the functions and functionality that's available to us uh, we won't be using too many of these uh, there's some simple things we'll be using like ls to, to show what packages we have installed um, install which will basically install all the dependencies that we have listed in our package dot json file which we, we can create with npm init all right and it's basically a file that holds all of the metadata for our app it holds um, all the dependencies we need you can add your git repository for the app things like that so that's what I want to do um, in this video so if we go to I have a folder in my C drive called node apps which um, doesn't have anything at the moment so I'm just gonna create a folder called test app alright and I'm just gonna create a file called app JS. Now we can use npm to create a package.json file. So let's open up our bash. Let's open it up to the test app folder. If you right click and click get bash, and of course you can use your standard uh, Windows command line or terminal if you're in Linux or Mac. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, npm init. And by the way, NPM comes bundled with Node. So if you installed Node, then you have NPM. So it's going to take us through a series of questions to uh, compile this file for us, this package.json file. First thing is the name of the app. And whatever's in parentheses basically is what it's going to be if you don't type anything. All right, so test app is fine. Version, we'll just say 001. Description, I'll just say this is a sample app. Entry point, all right, so this is gonna be the main JavaScript file. In our case, will be app.js, so we'll leave that. Test command, git repository, you don't need to worry about keywords. Author, you can throw your name in there. License, default is ISC, I'll just say GNU, GPL. And then it's gonna ask if this is okay. We click enter, and if we go back to our test app directory, we now have a package.json file. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's basically all the information that we typed in. Now, what's nice about this is we can include all our dependencies in this file, which will basically be all the modules that we want to use for our app. So after this uh, app, this main app.js, let's create a new line, and we want to say. Um, dependencies alright now what we want to do here is basically add some JSON data and we want to add the modules that we want to use so this is just a t uh, an example this test app we're not going to work with this after this video so I'm just going to uh, just just add a few modules in here let's say we want to use Jade which is an HTML engine helps you write HTML in your views. Now, you could put the version number here, um, but what I usually do is, is just include the latest version, and we can do that with an asterisk, all right? So we'll include Jade, and let's say we want Stylus, which is a CSS compiler type app. And same thing, we'll say we want the latest version. Uh, and we want to put a comma right here. All right, so we'll save this. And let's say this was a, a, a working application. Uh, someone could download it from your repository or whatever. 
and you don't have to include any modules inside of the, the actual folder. All they have to do, or all we have to do is go to, um, let's see, we want to go to the test app directory. And CD test app. All right, so if we check out the contents, now, as long as we have that package.json file, we can say npm install. And that's it, no, no other flags or anything like that. And it's gonna go through and install all the modules that this particular app needs. So now if we go to our test app folder, we get this node modules folder, which includes all the files for Jade and Stylus. All right, so, and then these modules also have dependencies, which are in their node modules folder. They also have a package.json, and if you look at their dependencies, there's a bunch here as well, which all get installed um, just from that npm install command. All right, so that's that's how that works. Um, probably somewhere um, later on in the series, we can actually create our own module and upload it to the npm registry. It's pretty easy to do. But for now, I just kind of wanted to explain npm and, and what it is. You can also go to the command line and you can say npm search. And this is gonna, this might take a few, uh, a minute or two, um, but basically just grabs all the, it grabs the all the modules in the registry and gives you a, a name and description for them. And you can see there's a, a just a ton. And if you create your own module and submit it, that, that will show up here as well, all right? So I'm not gonna go through any of these, but that's what you can do if you wanna view all the available uh, modules. So that's NPM in a nutshell. Um, that's really all there is to explain uh, for, for up to this point. In the next video, uh, we'll be installing Express, and we'll do that through NPM as well.